All right, stay fine. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have something new. Argument. All right. Hit and run incident. Mr. Dudley. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here and all I heard was the impact. Aw, oh, you're lying, dude. Come on. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. There we go. Why wouldn't you go there in the first place? Uh, association with the victim, if you may. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Well, leaving that. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. You are special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. No. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, mm -hmm. though. Argument overheard in the bar. A witness overheard an argument. <laughs> Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? There's something else, sir. He's like looking, hmm, hmm, I have a secret. I'm not gonna tell you. Yes, you are. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. Leroy! They've been talking about opening a new bar. Jenkins! Leroy, Leroy Sabo? The owner? Mm hmm. And what about the joint? <laughs> Business venture. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna believe that. No, sir. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you gonna tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? <coughs> when Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Uh huh, so we got poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Okay, so let's have a look around real quick. There's a telephone. Hello, handsome. There's a bag alley went there already. What do we have behind this? Oh, huh. So this is why everybody comes to raise. I see. Let's have this quick call, and I guess we're still looking for some clues, but I don't know where else to look. Operator, message for KGPL. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. All right. Thanks. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Okay, so... Still some clues here, yes or no? I K 
can't quite put my finger on it, so let's check for the case objectives. Investigate Sheldon Residence. Clues. Continental Wallet. Alright. Mm. We can come back later. Let's check something else. That will be the Patterson Residence. there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in the war. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. There we go. It is in residence. Let's have a quick look. Hello. Yes. Hello. This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? She seems she seems to be fairly obsessed about his death. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. <laughs> you don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Uh huh. Lester and I met on a furlough in '44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, mister? Don't you call me I think mister? I time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm mm. Leroy Sabo. Leroy Jenkins. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? I you bet. Can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. Yeah, I bet that what happened. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. Friends with you benefits? You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't run inside then. Let me check the evidence real quick again. The car, wallet, ladder, report, knife, and his statement. Possible business partnership between these two. Alright. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car. Yeah, right. Mm. Cut off the grin, sister. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Nature of argument. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Dumb bitch. Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. 
He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. <laughs> that was a proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Whoa. Partnership with Mr. Leroy Jenkins. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Oh, is that true? I don't think so. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little mm, man? Yeah, I would like to do that. With... 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 The ladder. You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. Mm -hmm. GI insurance policies have a ten thousand dollar pay. Mm -hmm. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. <laughs> you and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. I guess we can't just leave yet, can we? We have to look around or something? Oh, you chill out. We're gonna be leaving. Not just yet. Gotta be something around here. Or oh, there's no music. <laughs> Bullshit. It's not useful. Uh, it's not useful. It's not useful. Uh-huh. Oh, thought there might be a knife missing or something. No, bullshit. It's not useful. I'm looking for something useful. Don't you got any cool stuff in your apartment? Another poker table. I need to look at the bottle. Where's the phone? Phone? Phone. Phone. Let's have a look in this room. <coughs> Closed. Why would you knock? There's nobody in there. Huh? Where did you get your... Got your phone, ma'am? Am I blind? Was it in here? Oh. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks for your help. Mm-hmm. Cannot go there immediately to check something else first. Oh, this is not the exit. You two have a nice day. Come on, Stefan. Check in the shelter residence. Not yet. Um, let's check this one. We gotta go there immediately, don't we? You better move out of the way. 